Yep. Yep. And um, does this come with this as well? Yep, so as a complete unit, these can be sold separately. However, it's probably not very economical to sell them separately. So it's much cheaper just to buy them as one. Mm -hmm. So this here, which is an octagonal rubber base, goes over this part here um, and sits here uh, and sort of would push down on there to make it sort of flush yep. at the bottom. So, yep. So where would I see this being used? Um, mostly road works. Road so, um, yeah, this is the most common uh, sort of cone barrier type products that we use with road works in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it would be, yeah, every civil, civil construction type person would, um, you know, have many of these in their, um, in their vehicle or in their, um, at the factory depot, whatever you would call it. Mm. What's the T-top for? Uh, for? For carrying it. So, oh, okay. uh, if I bring this down, obviously the bottom will be off camera, but um, it's kind of ergonomic to just sort of pick it up from here so that you can carry it around by the top there. Mm -hmm. um, we have also in the past used, I'll just bring it back down for a second. Um, with cone bars so if you wanted to put um extendable cone bars they have a hoop we could put some photos up on the website i mean on this video um where they can clip over here and then you can daisy chain them to make a big long um barrier mm -hmm. out of them so however many you know dozens of meters or hundreds of meters you could always coordinate off with cone bars yeah is this the standard size you would buy it in uh, yep, so they only come in one size. Yep. So this is um, 1150 mil or 1.15 meters tall. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they all come with the reflective tape around it? <clears throat> um, yep, so this is a class one retro reflective tape, which mm -hmm. is um, excellent for night time to reflect the car's headlights or any ambient lights at anyone that's navigating nearby. Yep. yep. Um, and what's this made out of? Is it all okay to last outside for a while? Yep, yeah, it's all designed for outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, I forget the material of the plastic here. Um, the bottom is normally a rubber or a composite rubber. So um, this one is looks like it's a composite of rubber and plastic. Um, the 100% the rubber sometimes has um, a composite with some um, sort of string type material with it, but um, it depends on uh, at the time of um, importing them from China as to what's available. So we prefer the rubber, but sometimes if it's a composite plastic and rubber, then um, we will just get that if it's the only thing that's available. Um, sometimes supply can fluctuate. Mm. So you can buy them together in a kit yep. and separately? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, technically you would call it a kit, I guess. <clears throat> but um, yeah, if you wanted to buy them individually, you can, but it doesn't work out much cheaper than to buy the whole thing together. So mm. yep. Um, how many of these do you reckon are usually seen around roadworks? Do you think they need to buy multiple? Yeah, yeah, you would typically see dozens or hundreds of them at every um, roadworks site. Mm. Yep. And for yep. that reason, if they were to buy these um, in bulk from us, yep. um, would they get a discount? Yep, yep. So um, a lot of the customers that would be buying off these would probably qualify for a trade discount. Um, so you can contact our sales staff and um, they can set you up with a trade discount on our website. And that just means that as long as you're logged in with your email address, you'll be able to see your price um, on the website. Then on every product page, you'll see a button that says um, view quantity discounts. When you press the button, uh, a table will pop up and it'll show you the price for five plus, 10 plus, 30 plus, 50 plus, 100 plus. Um, and um, the trade price and the bulk discount price will compound. So you'll get a, a much cheaper price if you do it that way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a good way to save some money because most people are buying them in the dozens. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that's the only color it comes in. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a little hole. I'll try and bring it down for a second. So I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but there's a little hole here as well. Um, we do sell something which is a little bit rare. Um, a lot of other places might not stock and sell it, which is, um, it's kind of like a, a 
a, a, a bolt, I would say maybe if you call it that, that goes through and it has a nut on the other side and then it has some little um, eyelets that you can, um, that will have some little snap hooks and then if you want to um, daisy chain some plastic chain uh, at your warehouse, you can, you know, it's a cost effective way of um, having a multi-purpose bollard slash um, barricade with um, plastic chain. Um, that you could, um, you know, efficiently and um, plastic chain is good because it's very lightweight, uh, inexpensive, so that you could um, easily cordon off areas whenever you needed. Mm -hmm. So that's a good option as well. We could probably put some some images up on this video of that yep. as well. Um, um, what else do we need to know? I don't know. Is there anything else we need to know about it? I don't think I have any other questions. Um, Probably not too much. Um, obviously, it's got a carry handle here, which is convenient. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people want something that's a bit heavier. Um, you'll notice, say, if a freeway or a highway has a speed, you know, at 100 kilometres an hour with trucks whizzing by, and if these are on the shoulder, you'll often notice that they fall over just mm. from the truck whooshing past. Um, so people often want to know how to make it, stop it from falling over. Um, the best solution uh, I would suggest would be just to put extra bases. So this is currently a six kilo base. You can get an eight kilo base, um, but most people buy the six kilo base. And if you say put an extra one of the bases over the top, then it's 12 kilos. Mm -hmm. If you put a third one over the top, it's 18 kilos. Mm -hmm. So. Sometimes you'll notice on the sides of the highway um, that um, they'll have two or three of the bases for good reason. Um, if you're trying to put some barricade tape between these to say make a temporary barrier, say like a you know temporary fence mm -hmm. with the tape, the tape surprisingly catches the wind um, and blows these over all of the time. Mm -hmm. So I've had it happen to me myself personally. Um, where even on a mild wind, it catches the tape and pulls it over. So um, in that case as well, you'd probably want to put two or three bases if you are daisy chaining some barricade tape between them. Mm -hmm. um, that would just save you having to have these every metre. You could have them spaced every few metres and not worry about the wind blowing them over. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a, a better way to um, stop them from falling over yeah. or having to put too many. That's probably about it. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to buy this product, you can go to uh, www.advancedgroup.com.au. And if you like this video, you want to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye. Bye.